Hey, what is up guys? And today we're going to be taking a look at an electric screwdriver. Now, this is the ES120 from a company called eDesign. Now, this company is quite known for bringing a lot of amazing products to the market. For example, they brought the TS100's portable soldering iron, the TS80, also the portable mini oscilloscope, the DS2112, also another logic analyzer, which I'll show you, and the new all new DS213, which we'll leave for a later video. Nobody's seen it. It's a four channel portable oscilloscope with a signal generator, which is insane. So we'll guess we'll see that product in a later video. Now let's take a look at this. So like I said, this is from a reputable company which has created many, many great products into the market. And a lot of people will stand by including myself. I've been using the TS100 soldering iron for the longest time now. And just recently I switched over to a soldering station just to review those stations. However, my main go to soldering iron is actually the TS100. Believe it or not, that thing's an absolute beast. So how good is an electric screwdriver? Well, this is my first electric screwdriver. I've always wanted one but I've never really took the plunge until now so I've gone ahead and started using it now they only provide you with two bits they give you the Phillips tiny little Phillips screw headers here and also a flat head as well and they also provide you with this carrying case here which is really nice also this thing is running a built-in battery which is charged via micro USB and the battery life is quite amazing actually I've been using it for the past week now and I think it deserves a final review so Many of you, I know many of you are going to be asking, can this torque down the hex screws, especially for my viewers, on a quadcopter? And the answer is yes and no. What it does is it helps you with all of the spinning towards the end. It does give it a little bit of extra torque, but then towards the end, you just flip it by yourself manually and you're good to go. So basically, you just hold it in place and then boop, towards the end and you're done, which is really nice and it's really time saving. Now, I don't have a proper hex bit for the quadcopters, so I've been stripping some of my screws and I've just ordered some, some of these, which are titanium coated. Now, I'm not going to leave a link because I don't know how good they are just yet. Once they arrive, we'll take a look at those. So let's go ahead and try to remove this screw right here. So now I'm just going to place it in. And once you click the button, if you don't move, nothing will happen. The thing will light up. Currently, it's on automatic and we'll get into the settings in a little bit. Now, if you click this, nothing will happen until you start turning to the way that you want it to go, as you can tell. And the more you turn, the more angle you give it, the faster it'll screw in. So now we're going to screw it in very slowly. Now I just barely moved my hand there just a little, so as you can tell here. Now I'm going to move a little bit more. So as you can tell here, it's, it's, it's really nice and it saves a lot of time. I actually built this whole thing with this and it saved quite a bit of time. However, just something that I really didn't like was the, the, the magnets in the tips or, or just, it's just not really sticking to the, to the screws here. That's the only thing, but I think you can get a tip that can do a little better, better job than that. But overall, I use this screw, this screwdriver to do everything here, which is really, really nice. And it's actually kind of fun to be honest. So for example, I want to remove this screw here. There we go. It's gone. And what's so cool in, about this is that it has the, this, that was stripping the screw because that screw is a little bit larger. So the amount of torque in here is decent. It's not that great. It's not as probably what you would expect. I mean, it's, it's good. It's a little bit better than expected, but I was really hoping it would actually torque in those, uh, the, those screws for our quad cover, especially when you're putting a motor. But what I found out, to, what, what I found it to do is you just basically do all the hard work. It just does all the spinning for you. And then it gets a little, it just torques it in slightly. And then while you're holding it, just twist it because it does have a locking mechanism, which locks the tip and basically it just acts like a normal screwdriver. Like right now, it's, it'll actually be used as a normal screwdriver. It's not going to do anything retarded or anything stupid, as you can tell here. I can just start just removing it, as you can tell right there. So there we go. And I could even tighten it down too. So it does have a locking mechanism, which does not affect the uh, the motor inside, which is really nice. So you won't risk breaking the motor or burning the motor anytime soon. And I just took this undone because I was actually taking a look inside. So overall, this thing is a really nice piece of hardware and um, I'm actually really loving it. Now, this is not going to be for everybody, but you know, if you have problems with your wrist or you're just constantly screwing and unscrewing things, this is really useful and it's really time saving and it just makes everything a lot easier so if you do have seventy dollars to invest in one of these personally i'd highly recommend it i wish i would have done this a little bit sooner because it would have actually cut down time on a couple things quite significantly and it's just overall very pleasant to use i found it very it has a nice weight to it also it just looks like a really built piece of really good built piece of hardware here and um, overall the battery i was worried about the battery but the battery lasted me around good three days of use here at least and it didn't even die just charge it just in case um, but overall 
I do highly recommend it and I've, I will keep making update videos on these products but currently I just wanted to come in and just give you my current thoughts of me using the ES120. It's just been absolutely very 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 nice piece of hardware here and if you take a look here if we press the button three times we can actually switch between torque levels. We have auto, we have auto one, two, three, four. I usually just keep it on auto. I'm totally fine with auto. This thing is a pretty powerful little device and it's very useful for a lot of people, especially if you have carpal tunnel syndrome or something of that nature. This will really help you out a lot, actually. Because sometimes when I use this quite, or when I'm constantly screwing and unscrewing things, sometimes I do, my wrist start to hurt a little bit, but this actually reduces some of that strain off, which is really nice. And um, it's it's really good, especially if you have a big project with around 50 screws. This will actually just really, really uh, keep the overall stress off your, your wrist quite significantly, which is really nice also. So overall, I mean, it's not a product for everybody, but if you do have the money to invest, go ahead and do it. You're not gonna regret I can tell you that right now. Um, I'm really happy and I'm really satisfied with this tool right now. And you're going to see it quite often on the channel because the tool I'm reaching out for now. And I might get another one just to keep in the car just in case. So uh, if I like something, I usually get two of it. So yeah, overall, it's a really nice electric screwdriver that I'd highly recommend currently. So I've been using it, like I mentioned, for like three to four days now. And uh, I'll keep updating you after a month of use. And obviously, you'll see it throughout my videos whenever I'm going to need to screw in something. And I'll keep you guys updated. And well, that's going to include it for my review of the ES120. It's a really nice electric screwdriver. Very nice build quality. Battery life, super amazing. Torque isn't as torquey as you'd like it to be for putting in motors or setting up you know your frames arm especially for my viewers uh, you'll have to do that little extra twist and which is really nice because it does have a super great solid locking mechanism that allow you to twist manually without worrying about breaking anything because of the way it's designed inside so overall it's a really nice piece of hardware and i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one guys peace out